Okay, good. Right. Hello, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, we had a few technical issues, and so the stream should be back up. Uh, but we should be, you know, be able to cast the finals now. The uh, the set between the winners of the other semi-final games that we casted. So that is Mortal Teamwork, and they'll be playing Loctite Glue Team, Super Glue, Loctite Super Glue. Sorry. So uh, Mortal Teamwork is Siberian and Von Ivan, the dynamic duo from Mortal Teamwork, and they'll be facing against. Loctite Super Glue, which is Jezelin and Artyan Look, please. So, um, you know, we still, we've still we got one guy who's won the cup before, Jezelin, and, you know, we got Siberian and Von Ivan. They were in the finals before, and I think this is the first time they're back since that, since that weekend. So it's nice to see them back uh, playing, and that's, you know, cool, uh, you know, that they're, they're back again. So, you know, maybe they can take it this time around. So, uh, I believe they have, because the yeah, the, the, it, it, sometimes when people put the results in, right, and, and then they accept it, it does it automatically, so I don't have to do anything, which is nice from one point of view, but yeah, it does show spoilers. So it'll show you who the winner is, so, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a team, so um, you're showing the ones without the semis, the finals put in, yeah? Okay, so you've got... Um, So yeah, you have mortal. T uh, sorry, at the top you had Super Loctite team, and they played against RTN, uh, and they won two 0 So they went on to the finals. And then at the bottom of the bracket, you had Mortal Teamwork versus uh, Polish Wombo Combo, and they uh, Mortal Teamwork won two 0 and they went on to the finals. Then, so um, so there was two 0 victories for all the teams. There wasn't any two ones. Uh, they all played on Samoski Winter, and if you know you're big fans of Samoski Winter, you'll be pleased to know that the final will also be played on Samoski Winter as well. Um, ah. as... So unfortunately, we didn't get any. We didn't get any um, of the custom maps picked. Maybe next time, you know, we'll have where people will pick them. But yeah, for for today, it's Samoski Winter all day. So uh, it must be a really popular two v two map, I think. It is, isn't it? Unfortunately, it is. It doesn't even. It's not even meant to be a two v two map. <laughs> I don't think. It, well. it kind of works. I think people must like it. So, uh, but uh, yeah. Without without further ado, anyway, we'll get into the game and we'll we'll cast it. It's you nice and live, and you know, everyone get excited. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm paused on five. So is everybody yep. ready to unpause? Okay. One second. Okay. So okay. So I'm um, pause. Um, uh, so I'm pausing five, four, three, two, one. Unpause. Six, right. seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Okay. Cool. Come on, MTW. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've got the Soviets in the south. It looks like they're doing the same track because we saw them, uh, Jezelin and Milkley's following Jezelin for this game. Jeslin Milk, please. They'll be in the south, and it looks like they're doing the same build. Jeslin will be going a lot of conscripts, and uh, Milk, please, will be getting a lot of maxims. And the Germans, which are mortal teamwork, they'll be Von Ivan and Siberian. They are uh, in the northeast of Samoski, and they're going tier one standard build. And it looks like they'll be going Grens, Grens MGs. Siberian's already picked his commander, picked Elephant, and the Soviets have not picked theirs yet. Cool. Uh, looks like Jeslin is doing the exact same thing as he did last time as Soviets. He's uh, sent his engineers straight to that fuel point while his conscripts back cap. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, and we have Maxims, uh, first of Maxim out from Milk. Looks like both Grenadiers from both players are sticking very close together and moving to the center. And we also see another set of Grenadiers from each player. So yeah, Grenadiers start from... MGW and uh, Von Ivan is well, right. He's just he's put that wire down there again. It's very nice. Um, you know, I think it's, this wire is beneficial for the for the players in the north rather than anybody in the south because yeah, if you have to retreat around there and that that fence isn't broken, they're gonna have to go all the way around that wall, making it much more easier to kill anything on retreat. So uh, yeah, I don't know what those pioneers are doing. They're hopping back over the wall, running around again. Or maybe they're just practicing for like gymnastics class or something, you know, yeah, yeah jump over the wall and boom vaulting, whatever. But yeah, they they managed to secure the house now. They've got a grenadier squad in the church. Jeslin's conscripts are getting shots in on the church. They're taking quite a nice bit of damage actually, the grenadiers, you know, about 
75% mm. health. Maxim's going in the building that's overlooking the cutoff. That's going to yep. unload now on the Grens in the church. Yeah, he's got to be careful. Well, he jumps out of the house. All right, one man of the cons dies. Two Maxims now. Both are going to start opening up in the house. All those Grens behind that, in that cover behind that wall in the north side of the center. Two Grens now are going to fuck, uh, focus down this poor con. And they're in a good spot there. Some cons on the far right now are going to try and harass these pioneers, trying to capture the munition sector. So, um, and also, uh, Severian's doing a good job here, and he's going to try and disconnect the uh, munitions for the Soviets on the left, so no one has any munitions. Um, so these Grens are going to be winning this fight in the, in the graveyard. Um, Von's poor Grens are taking a lot of damage here in the center. That MG needs to get set up quickly. Yeah, these Maxims are putting in work. I mean, the, uh, the Sibs Grens are really low, one suppressed, and these, these Maxims are just pouring on the bullets. Oh, these Grenadiers. Bonds Grens. I mean, Sibs Grens even like you get Bond. Um, so yeah, so Bonds Grens gets suppressed here. Where's his Max? That's a Sorin MG. That Sibrian's MG should stop helping. So, oh, but he's in a good position to stop all these cons coming rushing in now. So he's suppressed one lot, the other ones are going to come around and flank. But is Sib going to switch target before it Uraz around? No, it doesn't look like it, just a bit too late there. But those uh, cons are very weak. Molotov's going to get thrown, but Sib is wise. He packs up quickly before he takes any casualties from that Molotov. He's going to reposition as fast as he can. Uh, now on the right, these um, cons on the left are in the precarious position. They, they're, like, they're going to have to, like you say, jump over the, um, the wall before they can retreat. And otherwise, they're going to risk running around through that fire, which is not a good idea. Yeah, so the, the concerts are, you know, they're getting, not doing too great with these pushes at the moment, but, yep. uh, oh, milk, milk on water now as well. This is going to be, this is going to be quite brutal against this yeah. static play. Um, so Milk's done a great job of disconnecting the uh, German's fuel income in the north by grabbing that point around there and just took it out, which was nice. So, um, yeah, we got more. Sibs Mortar dropping in rounds of the church. That Maxim is very low health. He needs to get out of there. Probably going to back away there and get out of there. All right. So uh, oh, we have uh, quite a few of uh, Jesdowin's conscripts now moving around to cut off there on that um, munition. The munitions cut off. Uh, that poor Grenzel probably not going to do very well there. Need some support. Um, yeah, so these Grenz. So these are. Uh, Conscripts, they, they managed to get the south now, but I think he might, he might want to invest in some wire cutters then. and that make it easy just to cut the wire and then you'll be able to get get in there and then you know that opens the retreat path a bit more for him. Yeah, I'm sure there's uh, Von's got an MG in that building. It's not being very useful there. I wish you'd take it out there and help um help secure the right hand side munitions point. So at the moment you you only really well they've already, they've got two MGs in the center. They don't need a third one there. So that MG in the house could be useful elsewhere. Um, so yeah, we've got a uh, tier two coming up for our Siberian, and uh, we've got healing for Jesluin. Any kind of tech? Let's have a look. See. No, they haven't teched anything. There's only there's only tier two the uh, weapon su support weapon campagna. So that's uh, it's a really oh, butchered Russian. I believe he's getting teched by Jesluin now, so he's fearing uh, scout cars, which may pop because Siberian is got to two up. He is also, he is building a scout car. So yeah, good time with those AC grenades. These cars, they're getting pinged by these machine guns in the mid. They're not getting much, much of a, much burn at the moment. Germans are doing a good, good job of getting, you know, VP control. So I think, you know, yeah. they're probably thinking like, okay, Von, you know, um, you know, I say, but you know, they're probably thinking, hey, you know, Let's get some VP control if we don't win this German game. Because I think a lot of people I believe Germans aren't, aren't as good in, in, in 2v2s right now because, you know, Soviet combined arms is better. So they're thinking, all right, if we get the VP lead as Germans, you know, and, and bleed them as much VPs as possible, even if they oh, win. A nice rifle grenade here on that one man Maxim squad may go down if uh, that Green gets a nice headshot, but I don't think he will. So both, both units retreat there. Four. Oh, that Gren squad. I thought that was a four-man Gren squad, but no, he ran away. So, 2-2-2 two, two, two is now up. Upgrade as well. He's going to probably chase off that uh, Maxim squad. However, there is a Zisk gun facing the wrong way. And not in a really good spot there, so... 
He could have done something sneaky, like hit it around the bush and faced it, so then if the uh, 222 did go to chase that Maxim down, he would have got yeah, shot in the back. Mm, that's, um... So, um... Yeah, the Germans are going to doing a good job of BP control. Uh, and they managed to secure their... Uh, oh, they got their munitions back and they got their fuel. So, so at the moment, it's kind of 50-50. Uh, I'd say that maybe the Soviets might have a slight lead at the moment because they've had their munitions for a longer period of time and been able to disconnect the Germans' fuel for a bit. But, uh, you know, Germans are doing all right. Their munitions are about to get cut off again in the south. May be able to wipe this, this engineer on retreats if Sip is lucky. No, no such stuff there. Oh, and he's... Is this guy, uh, sneaky is this guy gets a nice shot off. That's unfortunate for uh, Sip there. He should have been able to get that poor little en engineer. He didn't have much health, but... There we go. So, um... Big force here moving in in the center. This gun doing a barrage, opening up on the poor and the MG42. The MG42 is going to get out of there. Um... Uh, Sip's done a good job of uh, getting rid of the munitions. Uh, uh, Decapping the munitions on the far left, where... As just as doing a good job of, uh, you know, whiting the BP on the right. Um, Your orders, comrade. Well, this Max, this, M this advanced uh, MG in the 42 is getting flanked here. He needs to get it out of there. Uh, you don't really want to sacrifice and give him a free MG for Max and uh, MG 42. Sorry, loses the MG 42. He may get stolen here if he's unlucky. Uh, no, oh, it's not looking too good for the Germans at the moment. The Soviets are making a good push here in the center. Occupying all the houses. Um, yeah, they managed to squash the, the German lines. That, you know, got troops in. The grenade's going to go in on the MG42. He's... Nope. Uh, I think he's still on cooldown. Ooh, it's on so little health, though. It's going to clear yeah, the mortar. The dead, mortar's though. Off. Probably going to clear the other mortar as well. Lots of grenade on the mortar. Clears the mortar. So both mortars have been wiped out now. They've lost an MG42. Not looking too good at the moment for the uh, for MCW. Grenade gunner goes on top of the grenadiers and one burns alive. Uh, Von's coming in with a couple of grenades here, trying to uh, push back this uh, Soviet offensive. Or right, Sib's still done a good job. Well, meanwhile, Sib's done a great job of uh, trying to, you know, being harassed, harassing. He's like disconnecting on the left, and he's also grabbing the uh, fuel in the south. So it's not an entire loss for the Germans. Um, no, but this might be the phase where they have to just try and regroup, maybe. So, so you know, Sib, Sib has got these harassing units about. Maybe the, the Germans can regroup, you know, heal up a bit, and then they can start, you know, making a, a big offensive. But, you know, Sib's doing a good job, like you said, just harassing points. And so while he's harassing points, you know, the Soviet players will have to break off some units to just deal with them, you know, just get rid of them or kill them outright. Yeah, I'd like to see some uh, anti-infantry mines for for the Germans, but they're playing, oh, Vons... Grenadier's gonna die if he doesn't retreat it now. Get out of no. Double vet Grenadier. That was a bad loss. Bad loss because yep. you know there's two guys there left, but uh, yeah, left them there, left them hanging there for too long. They got two five one from uh, Siberian. That'll help you know reinforce and help the Germans you know maintain a position in the middle of the field. Uh, Von has called in the Blitz cargo truck, so that's gonna set up and you know give them some extra extra resources. Yep. So that means uh, Vaughn has gone assault support, so that gives him the Blitz trucks, the Strafe, and the uh, Tiger later on in the game. Yep. But Milk has called in another Shock Troop squad as well, so he's got two Shock Troopers, three Maxims, two Mortars, and an AT gun. So he's got quite a lot of um, infantry power, at least. Send your rounds on the uh, MG42. Makes the comms retreat. It does very nice damage. Oh, They're nasty. really good against second buildings. I um, I uh, mine uh, decrewed a MG42 in the south, and the Grens just try to pick it up. We're probably going to also get decrewed again, so that's more manpower casualties there. Uh, Soviets are capping the left again. Oh, you managed to get the, the MG42 retreat yet? That's quite lucky. Yeah. And look at uh, Milky sending these shocks around the side of the house. Are they going to come yeah. and wreck shop? That's, that would, that's, this is why some uh, anti-infantry mines on those flank roads would be quite nice here. Let's see if uh, Von and Sib have got... Well, Von's got quite a lot of munitions, actually. He could have been planting some of the, some mines there. He's got over he's almost, he's got over two, 230 munitions, so he could have put loads of mines down on all these flank roads and stopped these shocks from coming in like this. 
I don't think any of the Soviets have any sweepers at all, so they could, you know, they could have really benefited from these mines. Maybe he's saving up for a strafing run. He's about to unlock it, so he might put that down. Enemy yeah, here he comes oh. the strafe. Oh, yeah, those shocks. He managed to get that good flank in on the side, and look how much like damage they've done. They've like decrewed like two, three teams now. We might lose the shocks on retreat. Come on, Grands. No, no, Grands. <laughs> that was that was them used really well. I mean, he just you know snuck around the side there, and then he was just like ah surprise, and then just killed a bunch of weapon teams. Molotov's going uh, in. T thirty four eighty five is out. Not not eighty five, just normal seventy six version. So it's doing a great job of pushing in here. And that T-34 dunks that mortar crew. Yep. Smashes straight through the ice. Another Molotov. Makes friends retreat. No packs for Von Ivan. Anything for Severian. No AT for Severian. They got nothing to counter the T-34 with. Not good at all. And they do not have... Oh, we have Tier 3 being tech now or being built by... Um, well, I think it's Tier 3, isn't it? Yeah, that's Tier 3. It's about that's halfway done three, now yeah. by Von. But that means you'll have to get a P4 probably, yeah, or Stug. Probably P4 is probably the safer choice. I like that. Je uh, just doing uh, uses attack ground where he thinks a mine might be in the northern spot there, um, instead of using sweepers, which is kind of nice to see. He's now going to push around the side here. He knows there's an, off an opal blitz. He's going to see if he can go grab it, and he does. Quickly gets a nice little quick kill there, and then backs away. That was a very nice play there by Jesden. Yeah, it's, it's with, with the trucks. You see, when it sets up, there's like those boxes and the oil drums. Um, you can actually see that in the fog of war. So it's it, that's how you can actually see where they are exactly. So uh, I mean, it's it's quite hard to like disguise it, you know, or like try and hide them. Uh, there you go. There's yeah, a, I'm not, the not sure if it's going to be um, possible for the Germans to come back here. Uh, the Soviets, I mean, they were doing really well in the early game, but I think they just got hurt too much in the where they were static, you know, and spots oh, and mortars. The barrages just... are coming in on this uh, MG42, and oh god, I guess decrewed. And it gets dunked actually. Yeah, oh, dunked it. Nice. Yeah. It's actually dangerous to go in the ice. I remember when I was playing a 2v2 on this map. Um, uh, I've forgotten who, who, who the players were, but yeah, I had some AT guns here, and a tiger just came up, shot it, and it just decreased, just sunk all the AT guns, and I wasn't too happy about that. So, no. yeah, you see, yeah, that yeah, more team. Done. You don't want to be on the ice when tanks are shooting you. Yeah, definitely not, especially if you're a mortar, you're a uh, weapon crew. Nice smoke. Grenade goes in, regular one. They're going to mop up now. Right, we have, I think, our last push here for the Germans. They have a P4 out now. They're trying to make something happen. And the T-34 is just wrecking shop down south. P4 is in a really bad position. It's, uh, it's going to be T-34 needs to try and flank around. But a shell bounces, both shells bounce from both tanks, so that's kind of fair. Will we see oh, that penetrated? That bounce, so the t 34 is going to get out of here. Unless the, the uh, Grens can get a Faust off, they do. But it, and bounces. it bounces. Oh, oh The armor buff in the last patch on T-34. Oh, he's ramming it. Okay. A cheeky little ram in. That people is going to die to another 80 grand. Here it comes. Yeah. Oh, main gun crit. This finishes it off. This comes around in the back. And that is it. That's Ooh. game one. Oh. <laughs> well, we'll see if they can, uh, Siberian and Von can uh, equalize in the next game. I hope they can. I know their they're, they're Soviets, uh, I think their Soviets are stronger than their... Uh, yeah, Germans, and they normally play very well as Soviets on this map. I know Sib does the snipers and Von does everything else. So uh, it's, um, it's still to play for. And I, I had a feeling that, uh, you know, just Lewin and uh, Milk's uh, Soviets would overpower them on this map. But it looked quite close at the start. I think, it, you know, what let them down was um, 
you know, getting you know, mortal crits, killing quite a few guys, and uh, you know, Ziz guns doing damage, and oh yeah, and applying mines on the flanks, letting shocks flank around when um, you know they could have been really benefited from um, from mines and stuff. I mean, I think in the end of the day, they say uh, Von saved up about 240 munitions for the strafe, and it really didn't do that much. I mean. You know, when he did use it, it might have uh, it may have suppressed a few guys, but that was it. it. You know, it didn't kill any units off. I mean, these mines would have been would have been crucial at protecting these flanks, and uh, you know, just hindering them from pushing in and taking territory. Uh, so yeah, that's um, my analysis of that. Have you got anything to say on? No, it looked like the you know the Germans were going to do well. You know, they had the VPs, they had a good VP lead. Um, I think now now their objective is uh, Sib Sib and von Ivan now their objective is to like probably think okay man right so um, we got a lot of VPs off them I think we got to win and we got to get you know uh, we have to bleed them massively on the VP not you know we not we got to not lose any VPs that's what they're going to say to each other now yeah you know so then we can get faction choice in the next round so that's what they're probably going in thinking I think Sib round. and von managed to get it down to about three hundred something like that three hundred between three and four hundred. So they did a fairly decent job in the early game of holding off the VPs, but then as soon as the tide turned, they couldn't hold on at all to anymore. And um, so yeah, I think if uh, Von and Sib can dominate the VPs here and win the game and get choice for Soviets for the third game, is it is it best of five or best of three? Best of two, best of three. For the, best of three. Yeah. So yeah, if they get choice for the third game, I think they'll win it if they get choice for Soviets. So yeah, should be good. Okay, so uh, alright guys, we're going to load the replay up, uh, we'll have a break in the meantime, uh, we'll see you afterwards, so see you soon.